Hello friends, we are still not employed by a fine company, so let's not stop lead coding till we get there. Today we are going to do encode and decode strings lead code problem and as you can see this is actually a lead code premium problem. If we see some of the companies who have already asked this question where I want to get a job, there are companies like Facebook, LinkedIn, Google, Square, Uber, Microsoft and Apple. So all of my favorite companies have asked this question so that's why I am paying my utmost attention. I hope you also enjoy the video. So this is a lead code medium problem and basically we are given a list of strings. Now we need to design an algorithm where we are actually encoding this given list of strings into a single string. Then we are told that that single string is supposed to be sent over a network and then when we get back to the second machine we need to decode that given string into the original list of strings. So let's try to understand this with an example. So suppose we are given a string s where we are given bunch of different strings that looks like this. So after this, we will actually create an encoded string. Now this encoded string is combination of all of these four items and it is just a single string. So let's say that this is the encoded string we have created. Now uh, after creating this encoded string, we need to write a function to decode the string as well. And after we decode the string, we should get a response that exactly looks like this. And this would be the original decoded string we would get and this is what we need to return so we need to return the algorithm to encode the string and also an algorithm to decode the string so let's see that what would be the different approaches we can take okay suppose this is the original string we are given and we need to encode the string and decode the string the idea is we are actually going to use an extra character and where we are going to use an extra character we would put it where one string ends before other string starts and we will keep on repeating the same process and all we have to do is so that would be the way to encode the string after encoding the string when we have to decode we will just simply take that character and the moment we reach that particular character we would know that okay this is the place where one string ends so we would create a new string for that and then we will repeat the same process so let's see that in action so first of all suppose we take this character that looks like this hash right i'm just taking any random character uh, the idea is you can discuss with your uh, inter that what kind of character you can take so suppose I take this ash uh, now I do encoding string so the encoded string is going to be a B then uh, the moment I identify that the strings ends over here I would put a hash and I would keep a continuous string now I realize that okay this is a new string B so I would add a value B again I would put a hash now again this value is C again I would put a hash and again at the end I would find this value a B C and that would be the end of the string so now I have created an encoded string now if I want to decode the string uh, the decoding would work like this so first of all I'm iterating until I find that this is a valid string so valid string is a b now I realize that okay this is the hash and hash is the character that I put it ex as an extra character as an encoding mechanism so I would remove this hash and I would treat this as a single string now I would again start creating a new string so again I find this value b the moment I encounter the string hash I would treat this b to be a separate string again I would encounter this value C and again I would encounter this value A B C and this is the way we will we are going to encode and decode the string and this solution would work as expected if we see the time complexity in this case the time complexity is actually going to be big O of n why because we will have to iterate over all the characters that are present inside this given string s to first of all encode and then decode so overall it would be 2n but we can generically write it to be big O of n now if we see the space complexity in this case the space complexity is actually not that that much because we anyways we will have to create an encoded string and decoded string and all we are doing is just using an extra space to solve this problem so this is pretty simple uh, to me okay suppose this is the string we are given and the idea is we are actually going to add four bits that are going to store the length of any given uh, sub substring and then we are going to keep on repeating the same process and we are going to create the encoded string so let me quickly show you what i am suggesting first of all we would have an encoded string where first four character is actually going to store the information that what is the next length of substring that is coming that we are going to iterate over so in this case this is actually length three so if we add it in binary it represent as 0 1 1 so we are actually going to have 0 0 1 1 to be the length and then we are going to store these three characters as a b c okay now we are done with that again uh, now this ends the first substring so now this is of length 2 so length 2 becomes 0 1 0 now we are going to do the same thing and then we are going to store this value a b and now this is also of length 2 so again we will repeat the same process and we are going to store the value of x and y and this is the encoded string what we have done basically is we have actually created block of four bits 
that keeps the information that okay on the next subsequent value these are the three characters that you will have to iterate over and that is uh, how we are going to decode it so let's see the decoded string in action in the decoded string first of all we are going to iterate over this given encoded string now we iterate over these four characters and we find that okay value is actually three which means that next three characters are the characters of one of the substrings that we will have to separate so we will iterate over these three and put it in a substring and we will get a substring like a b c again we will iterate over these four characters and we realize that the value is actually two so because two we will have to iterate over these two elements and we would get the value a b now again we would iterate over this next four bits and we find that value is actually three uh, two again so we will iterate over two more characters and we will get the value x y and then we would have a decoded string so this is also another way to store the, uh, all the values now this solution also works as expected but i don't think that anyone is able to come up with this in the interview so i just showed you this approach just for the explanation purposes but actually i'm going to in the coding i'm going to show you the first approach that i solved earlier So first of all, we are going to do the encode function. So let's take care of some edge cases first. If that is not the case, we are actually going to take a random variable that is not part of this uh, original given string. So we are given the condition that there could be 256 characters uh, inside uh, the ASCII character for this given string i. So what we are going to do is we are going to take the 257th character as the character that is a separator between any two strings. So first of all, let's just create a string uh, called a separate. And we are going to assign the character 257 to it. Now we will start building our string. Now we will iterate over this given list of strings. So first of all, we are going to append the value of whatever the string we are iterating over. And the moment the string ends, we are going to add the separate character. Once this loop ends, basically we should have done with uh, encoding our string. Now all we have to do is just delete the last character uh, because that would be an additional room. And once that is done, all we have to do is just simply return this given this new string builder we have created. So now we are done with encoding our string. Let's decode our string. If this given string S is actually of size uh, whatever the located at 258 which means we are dealing with an empty string list. So in that case we will simply return a new array list and we should be done. If that is not the case which means that we have a separated string. So uh, let's just assign a new character. All we have to do is just return an array list where we are going to uh, separate based on this given uh, separate character. And that's it. Let's try to run this code. Okay, seems like our solution is working as expected. Let's submit this code. And our solution is actually pretty fast compared to a lot of other solutions. It's not most optimal because I did not choose the approach 2. And uh, let me know if you want to see the code for approach 2 as well. Thank you.